Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to the Inktober 2023 Tangles. This is my sketchbook. Uh, if you want more information about it, I do have a link in the description for how I do this disc bound system. We are on day 14. Wow, can you believe it? We finished two weeks worth, and it's been fun. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying this, and I'm happy to have you here. If you happen to create tiles and you put them on social media, I would appreciate it if you tag me at at BBL Tangles. You don't have to do the same kind of tile that I'm doing. Do your patterns on anything. A, a bijou, a three and a half inch tile, a big sheet of paper, any paper, okay? Just practice. That's what Inktober is about. Put ink to paper and have fun doing it. All right, this is a fun little tangle. It's called Prima, and it's by Kimberly Wood, and she's a CZT. And I had fun with this one. It's Fairly new, I think, to the Zentangle community, so I didn't see a lot of variations in it. So I'm going to do this one with you today. I believe this is the way she shows it in the step out. And I think it would be really pretty with a, a lot of other botanical type flowers. Okay. So let's zoom in. This one is simple and the petals remind me of flux okay and then these remind us of uh, fescue so let's do this one coming up this way so i'm just going to start with my stem and then we're doing an oval type end on this. All right. And then we're going to put the petals that droop down. And again, they're very much like flux. And I come back up to the bottom here. And I have seen in her step outs, um, Kimberly puts either two or three petals on each side. Sometimes three on one side, two on the other side. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm going to do it like that, just two on this side, three on that side. And I do like how it looks with the uh, little line coming down the center. So I'm just going to come down a little bit. And I did realize I didn't double this stem. You don't have to, but it's kind of a heavy flower. Let's help it out. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this little area along the bottom, just kind of a little aura. And you can fill it in with black. Or you can leave it like this. I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. Gives it a little bit of drama. Again, you can leave them open or don't put them on at all.
And the same thing with putting these lines and the little dots. See how this one doesn't have any of those on there. <clears throat> Up here at the top, we're gonna do stippling. And, okay, I am going to switch to my Micron PN for this, um, just because the tip of that Micron 01 is a little, well, it's small and easy to push in. So with a Micron PN, that's a plastic nib. And stippling is just adding these little dots. And the way that she does it is she comes up one side and we'll make it just a little bit darker at the bottom. And that's a way that you can put shading on a tile. Let's say you're sitting in a waiting room and you want to add a little bit of shading. That's a way to do it without having your graphite pencil and a blending stump with you, okay? The other thing we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this PN. We're gonna put the little buds coming up, little fescues. She has two on each side. Okay, such a pretty little flower. Now for shading, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of shading where I have this stippling, very light, you don't need much. And then at the bottom of each petal, I'm gonna put just a little bit of graphite. Okay. And then we're just going to push that out a little bit. Soften it so that you don't see an edge. And then we're going to come up here and soften this one too. All right. That was quick and easy. So again, that was Prima for day 14 by Kimberly Wood. I might have to put that one on the front of my sketchbook. <laughs> All right, day 14. And again, thank you for joining me. I hope you're having fun. I'm enjoying this. I like it. And it's uh, good to have Inktober here again because it brings the whole community together, I think. It's a challenge for everyone. So, again, thank you for joining me. And I hope you'll be back tomorrow. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Share it with your friends. And uh, come back again tomorrow. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye.